it is Wednesday, my peoples. Um, it's group therapy night, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good night, I think. Um, I'm, I'm, I had such trouble getting going today. Um, I mean, and you can even ask this guy over here, Lollipop. He'll tell you I'm. I like. I checked out early. Um, chuckle, chuckle, fuck, fuck. Chuckle, chuckle. I think you have to check chuckle. in to be able to check out. I checked in this morning. I had listen. I had a meeting with the architecture team. All right, so. I checked very in. Also, thank you, Liz, for that Prime sub. I know you only have one Prime sub to use, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you using it here. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, let's see, what's going on? Um, we're up to 139. Um, I know we're... S check, chuck, check, chuck. How many checks would a check, chuck, chuck? Check if, if a chuck chuck could chuck checks. Ch Checkle fucks. <laughs> Chuck Checkle fucks. Checkle fucks. Chuck Checkle fucks. We have now broken the bear's brain. It's done. It, it, listen, I didn't have very far to go yeah. today, so um <laughs> So yeah, um let's see. We've got we're we're trying to hit two fifty by the end of the month. Um so if you know anybody that would, you know, want to come hang out with us enjoy the stuff that we're doing here please let them know um, i do want to give away another xbox game pass ultimate subscription another three months of it that's 45 dollars value so you know if you let your friends know let your other friends know so that they can come and hang out with us and you know Aww, maybe i can give them video game stuff friends. well i was typing out a discord message to you, you. Oh. He caught it. He knows better. <sighs> speaking of speaking of shit that Elena's done to me this week, um, she uh she got me a llama. It's a llama. It's a it's a it's a Minecraft llama. So you know, it's a llama. Um, it's very cute. It's very it's very crocheted and very cute. Um, <laughs> we're not even playing Minecraft right now, and you can't escape the llamas. Nope, can't. Nope. I go to lunch on Monday, and there's a, there's a fucking llama. Can't even get out of the car yet. There's a fucking llama. <laughs> so even at lunch, IRL in my own car, we have Minecraft llamas. Look, it needed to happen. Okay, you can't tell me llamas didn't. in the chat. Just. We play. Half considered. We play Fortnite on Fridays. Out. Llama's there. I I really considered reaching out to Sabrina, seeing if she could get me access to your car without you knowing. Oh no, so there's no fucking way. Llama in there. There's absolutely no way. No, no, that doesn't happen. Um, let's see. Speaking of Fortnite, we'll be playing Fortnite on Friday. Um, so that should be a, a good time doing the, the pew pews and the hyas and the whack, 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 and whatever other things that you do in Fortnite. I'm not entirely sure. Um, ooh, I got the Milkstein tonight and I got the Milkstein shirt on tonight. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, I do. Do I have Winamp installed on this machine? Yes, I do have. Let me see if I can, if it still has it. Uh, where's the, it might not even be in here. Uh, where is, but yeah, I have Winamp because it really whips the llama's ass. Um, that's about it. That's, that's all I can think of. I'm, I'm out of stuff to, to, to intro with. What about y'all? We have anything? Did I miss anything? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell. I love that you're looking at us on Discord while you're asking that question. Well, I'm gonna if I'm gonna ask you a question, I'm going to look at you. Like, why would you gonna I look, look at me with that tone of voice? Yeah, I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at you exactly with this tone of voice. Oh, all right, you sir. Chuckle fucks. I'm gonna need you to look at yourself that way. No. No. Yes. No, where's my... 
<laughs> Let's pipe in some of that good chill music for you. There you go. We've got some, uh, I've got my 14 music going right now, so I'm, Oh. I'm enjoying the locales of spoilers. The locales of spoilers. Well, that's, that's just mm -hmm. great. Listen, I'm up to like, I'm almost level 40 now on my summoner. So I'm, I'm getting there, you know, I'm, 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 right. I'm, I'm like, almost to the first expansion. Well, your level is almost to the first expansion. Your MSQ is still like level ten, so it's not ten. It's like twelve. I know. It's I yeah. I'm actually up to like thirty five, so that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm getting there. I got. Uh, I mean, I see. I've seen like three or four other dungeons on the map that I haven't unlocked yet. So I'm. I will get to them. Um, you know, when the time comes, when prey return to the waking sands. <sighs> but you know you it is what it is um but anyway welcome everyone um it's group therapy night um if anyone has anything specific that they would like to talk about please let me know um if you would like to come into voice with us on discord um i'm more than happy to to talk to you about that um you can pop something over in in the discord which by the way there's the link to the Discord if you would like to join. Um, let's see, well, how's this week been? I've been I've been exhausted today. Uh, today was just I don't know. I had trouble getting started. So um, my wife Sabrina, she she gets up at about six thirty every morning. Um, she works in elementary school, so she's got to be at work fairly early. Um, so I get up basically with her. I'll usually roll out of bed somewhere between like six forty five and seven. Um, and, uh, so we, we got up this morning, she did her thing, um, got ready and left. And then I just kind of sat in my spot on the couch and I was just like, like everything, everything came to like a slow motion, just almost standstill. And, Did you uh, put the weighted blanket on and go through 10 years in 15 minutes? No, I didn't do the weighted blanket. I didn't even want to try the weighted blanket because it was just... I was very concerned that it would not end well for me, like, timeline-wise. Um, oh. Kitties. Yeah, kitties will do that. And yeah, kitties will do... They'll do really, really well for that. And, um... Uh, we're we're thinking about potentially getting a cat at some point. The problem is Sabrina is somewhat allergic. Um, it's not terrible, but it does make her head hurt quite a bit, and she's already got like a small sinus cavity, so you know, just makes it that much worse. So we're we're trying to figure some there's of a, that out. There's a couple different ways to tackle that. I know Chris Chris was allergic, but with taking meds especially at the beginning and then his but he at least and i've i've known other people who with milder allergies who once it's your cat mm -hmm. and you're living with it you kind of adjust to that so like coming over to our house would still probably be a problem because it's not the same cat not the same dander not the same hair yep. but there's that there's also the um the hairless cats too it, yeah, but it's not just the hair. Um, I think it's she, she's got some kind of like compound in, in in pet saliva that also kind of messes with her. Uh, um, okay. So it's it, yeah, it's yeah. Otherwise, we would have had something by now. So uh, we're trying to figure all of that out um, at some point. But you know, low priority. You know, we've got other stuff we're trying to do first. Um, we're th we've started thinking about taking the carpet up upstairs which downstairs it looks phenomenal downstairs um flooring looks great and i love it um we took up our carpet almost a year ago now and we put down um wood look um porcelain tile and it just looks phenomenal honestly it's going to be really funny when the two of you actually come over to the house because once you get here, you'll walk in and you'll see that between the paint colors downstairs and the like the wood that looks almost like an antique 
like a like an aged wood floor. It it's got this like ocean and and ship sort of theme to it, because we've got like this these like two kind of blues. One's a little greener than the other in the living room, and then we've got this sandy, um, like almost like tan or khaki color inside of the bathroom, and then the kitchen's like this bright sunshiny yellow. Huh. So the downstairs already like, kind of looks like a pirate ship. Which kind of tracks for me. It is you, yes. Yeah, that's that's me. Yeah. Where's the um, where's the guardian spawn spawner at? And where's the guardian farm at your house? In the where's garage. The, uh, big vinyl Kitterino face that you clearly need to have on one of your walls. It's uh, actually if I were to put it on one wall, I would put it up here because I have like this huge blank wall up here that I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with at some point, and that's where it would probably go. We get to um, actually get our feet on the ground with the fence quote here sooner than later because uh, Bowser found a nice little hole in our fence yesterday and going into our backyard neighbor's yard, the one with the tortoise. Yep. He so found the, uh, He found the same hole that the tortoise found, so he returned the, the visiting favor. Oh, God yeah, bless him. He... He paid them a visit, and he's adorable, and they love him. But then we uh, we took to the good old chicken wire to patch the hole. Yep. Don't worry, you know, it's just chicken wire. Tank will chew, chew through it. That's fine. <laughs> tank can tank tank has a gate again to, to plow through, so. <laughs> yeah, actually... He's a tortoise. He'll get through it. Ooh. Actually, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah? Yeah, because we can't see him from where he's, since he's in their side yard. Like, mm. we can kind of see the back gate of where he is, but we can't see him. But that's also by design, because if he was to see us, then he would barrel right through whatever and try and come see us. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Yeah, it's at least he's friendly. Sure. You know, as he just destroys fences and gates and whatnot. He was he was very eager to uh, try out the baby grass I was growing, the last time he tanked through. Hey, listen, it was a snack, all right, and he didn't know it wasn't his snack. He's doing his best. It was his snack. It was his snack. It became his snack. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> so yeah. So um, we get to uh yeah we get to look at fences. I gotta. When I'm busy not getting my face drilled, I have to uh, make that phone call to come get a quote. Might do that first instead of uh, Bowser, since our vet is annoying me more and more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard Lollipop was telling me today about the vet stuff. Did he tell you about the, the Chewy update? The, oh, we don't carry this. You can go get it at Chewy. I yep. called Chewy to find out why they put our order on delay. Oh, your vet's uh, it's, uh, is a do not call. Jesus Christ. Thanks. Ah, <sighs> you know you have more trouble trying to take care of those animals. Like, like at the at the county, you got your 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 card number got swiped. At the vet, they're being shitty about the medication. Yeah, we don't. We have we have had a time trying to take care of them. Jesus Christ! Honestly. What a mess! What an absolute mess! I don't recommend it. It's not a good time. Yeah. Hmm. Which sucks because they were really good for us when we first moved down here. Well, yeah, that does suck. And like. I theorize that they've either gotten new owners or just have gotten busier than they can. Like, I don't know. I assume, I, I assume something has changed, either like new owners or new staff. Yeah, I'm... I assume it's I assume it's new owners because they've gone a bit more corporate, it seems like. Oh, that sucks. 
That'll happen. That will happen. Hmm. It's Pride Month. It's June, so uh -huh. all the the all the brands have changed their their social media presence to have rainbow colors. Uh-huh. Yeah. And all the rainbow capitalism. Mm-hmm. So they'll they've stolen the rainbows from from the gays and they'll 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 give it back at the end of the month. That's how it goes, right? There have been a couple decent Converse's collection was decent, but there have been so many collections that just are not designed by the people, therefore, very clearly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like and my job here is done. <laughs> but you didn't do anything. <laughs> Like, and don't get me wrong, I'm all for the support, and to an extent, rainbow capitalism is a sign of the, 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 popular, the popular opinion shifting enough that, you know, now we have virtue signaling support, but... At least they're taking the time guys, to pander to you? Yeah, like, <laughs> yes, like, that's an improvement, but also... This is slightly horrible, but stereotypically, if you're trying to appeal to, to the alphabet mafia and the gays included, maybe try hiring a de designer. It's fashion sweaty. Look it like, up. <laughs> that's that's a good point. Just, like, it's, you're right. Like, so many of these companies are trying to sell, like, ugly rainbow slash pride <laughs> shit. And it's like, do you not know, like, who invented fashion? Like, for God's sake. Like, but, like, I get it. There are fashionable and non-fashionable people of all types. But it just it just makes me, like, facepalm a bit that, that really, this is... Oh, 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 okay, sure. I am indeed not a fashionable person. I'm not... I don't know. I like what I like, and what I tend to like tends to be at least decent looking. So... I can't say I'm not fashionable, but I'm not, like, into fashion. The most fashionable article of clothing I have is uh, my Kitarino hoodie from the merch store. That is, a. Uh, that is, is pretty, uh, is pretty nice, I gotta say. Listen, I mean, you, you see what I wear, like, I wear t-shirts all the time, um, and uh, most of them now. I mean, Kitarino merch is pretty good merch. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. But uh, yeah, Delta. That's that's unfortunate that that there are people that think like that. Um, I'm, yeah. I know, I know a lot of people that have been affected by suicide, and I, yeah, that's that is not a uh, that's not a that's not a great uh, it's not a great attitude to have about it for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of misinformation around all of it, and I think a lot of people have kind of project their own fears about it like they don't want to talk about it so no one should yeah yeah for sure it's something we as a society don't get and a lot of people don't learn is how to hold space for conversations you're not necessarily comfortable in yep that's true that's true i mean that's why we had the, the conversation that we had was it two weeks ago um when Andrea came and we were talking about sexual assault survivors, like that's never a comfortable conversation to have. No one's comfortable talking about that, but it's something that needs to be talked about and talked about properly so that people understand the problems that victims have to deal with every single fucking day of their lives. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that, that, that night just with so many people talking about their experiences I think it also shed a little light on the fact that, you know, it affects 
far more people around you than you may think. And suicide, I believe, is the same way. It affects a lot more people around you than, you know, than, than you may think. Mm-hmm. Suicide has an impact, even even sometimes if you're not close to the person. I mean, Delta, yeah. if you're if you you know if you're if you've got something that's that's helping you out that I that's not harming someone else, and it's not harming you, it's it's helping you to cope with what you're dealing with. I. Uh, I, I can't see why that's a problem. Like, I know that, you know, we still have to operate within the confines of the law, but if you're in a place where, you know, there are things that are legal that sh that that get you the help that you need, get you the, the, the coping mechanism that you need, you know, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm not, it's, it's certainly not a choice that I would make, um, but you know, that's, that's, that's your decision. That's, that's your choice. So, yeah, let's 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 try to let's try to, to dial it back a little bit. Um, let's you know if 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 there's some kind of help that you do need, um, I would suggest that you reach out to someone, um, to someone professional. Like, I, I understand that having the option does help you feel better, but. You know, I think that's that's kind of beyond what we talk about here. Um, you know, I I would suggest that you reach out to someone professionally. Um, I don't want to encourage that kind of thing on this stream. Um, so let's 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 dial it back a little bit there. Oh, but yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm glad we had the the extra day off at the beginning of the week this week, um, but yeah, I just I I was exhausted this morning. And Sabrina brought home a coffee um, on the way home from work today, and that that helped give me a little bit of of a boost. Um, and it's really weird because like I thought I slept pretty well last night, and I got to sleep at a decent time. I don't know, it's it was really strange. Just like being just kind of sapped. It was weird. Sometimes it's like the wrong amount of sleep. Like I've found, I've figured out what my REM cycles kind of are and where I need to be to not feel like I didn't sleep. Yeah. Hi, Jessica. Welcome in. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to figure out something because I think I need a new bottom pillow because the one that I have is old. So uh, I've told you about my sleep system before, right? Uh -huh. So I have, I have one pillow on top and I have another pillow on the bottom and I get really warm at all times, but especially when I sleep. So I like to have like a cool pillow on my face that I usually just turn constantly throughout the night. And the one on the bottom, I put my arm under because I sleep on my, my stomach. And um, it kind of helps prevent some of the heat transfer. Um, so the one that I have on the bottom right now is old. And it's kind of like the, the, the batting in it is just like kind of bunched up in the middle. And it's not flat anymore. And it's just kind of like, and I need, I need a new flat pillow. I find it really hard to find new, but still really flat pillows. Yeah, they're all so fluffy now. 
And Sabrina's been trying to find a pillow that she needs because she sleeps with two, but she sleeps with one in her head and one that she like curls up with. And she's been trying to find a new one to curl up with. And I mean, well, that's, that's what we did on Monday before we came to um, have lunch with y'all. And she looked at a bunch and she just couldn't find anything that she likes. Like finding a, a good pillow is hard. Yeah. We have these bamboo, like, memory foam pillows that are really good at least i like the hell out of mine yeah they worked for him they did not work so like because they're supposed to be you sleep with that and no other pillow underneath your head and it did not that did not go well for me so yeah so we'll see I need flat ones because I put one over my head to block out like light and sound and things. Yeah. But if it's not really flat, then it wobbles all over the place really easily. Yeah. Like it obviously still falls off my head and, and when I sleep anyways, but it's like off my face before I'm even asleep if it's not flat enough. Yeah. Hmm. How's I've ended up with it several times. Yes, yes. <laughs> How's work this week, by the way? Hmm? How's work this week, by the way? Um, busy for me because... Oh, we don't need to track these numbers. Oh, hey, do we have these numbers? Okay, yes, I can backlog fill the fiscal year. Um, plus my one of my mentors, uh, one of the projects she t thought about trying to get me in on, she did get me in on. Um... And she's been talking to her manager to kind of keep me in mind if anything else comes up. So I have like a whole spreadsheet of stuff to go through for her. Um, and then I'll get to work on other stuff. My next work from home office week. And then a different analyst that I shadowed with um, wants me in July to help them with a migration product project. So busy in a good way. That's right good. Now. That's good. It's at least I'm kind of just trying to focus on that and not the... It's basically the one-off that the, the the hiring manager that really not one-off, but the hiring manager that was really not happy with our department. I'm at least getting progress pretty much everywhere else. It seems like so. Yeah, I don't know. It's though. at least busy in a good way and interesting. So, you know, you know, it's not too don't stressful. You know. Don't you know? Yeah. I just almost wish it wasn't a short week this week because I, I have a lot to do. Yeah, I, it's kind of the blessing and the curse of like the shortened week. It's like, great, there's only four days this week that I have to work. Oh, I still have to do five days of work in a four-day week. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thankfully, we've kind of gotten our stuff set up in a way to where we don't have to do that as much, just because we sort of, you know, we do everything on a point system. Um, mm -hmm. And we take, you know, days into account f as to how many points that, you know, we'll commit to doing in any two-week sprint. But, um, man, Lollipop and I have to work this week. Mm-hmm. Blech. Yeah, no, I... Mine is just more like... I actually have plenty to do this week, so it would have been nice to have the fifth day. Mm -hmm. Like, there are other work-from-home weeks where it's more... Plus, it's also first of the month, so I actually I do need to fit that in somewhere this week. Um, all the logs needed to get uploaded. All, like, all my normal stuff needs to happen on top of these kind of two projects. Yeah. Yeah. But I got, I got a decent chunk done today, and I think if I focus, I can get a lot more done tomorrow, so... I think you'll be fine. I mean... You get everything else done anyway, so you'll be fine. Yeah. I don't want to work tomorrow. Yeah, oh me goodness, either. You'll be fine. Mm. You don't have to work all day tomorrow. You you leave at like one. Right to get my face drilled. That's that's not working. <laughs> you will be laying down and uh, not working. Yeah, he's gonna work on dealing with that pain of being drilled in the mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to spin this better for him. 
I think Thunder. I think it's I think it's too late. I think he knows what's coming. Although it's not as so, bad as it used to be. So tomorrow I get a root canal, and then the week after that I get a second teeth cleaning, and then the week after that I get a crown lengthening or a, a tooth lengthening. I, I forget what they call what? it. Sorry. And then once I am done with that, then I think I get another another crown. So, you know. This Did is you a fun... know how shiny this was, Chris? Uh-huh. Why didn't you tell me? But you knew. No. Is this is, is group therapy night gonna turn into a fourteen stream? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will not turn into a 14 stream. I just, I always do something that I can just like talk, but not like really pay too much attention to during stream. And so tonight it was working on tools, mm, but tools. It, it was, I just got a super shiny thing that I didn't know was as shiny as it was. So I, I didn't, I didn't know. Well, congratulations on the shiny thing. Thanks. It's really, really shiny. That's... And I can actually show it to you at some point because it's not really a spoiler because it's it's just shiny. It's just shiny. Mm-hmm. How much spoiler dodging in this game? That's why I'm playing a rogue right now, you see. So I can get up to be a ninja so I can dodge all those spoilers. I'm trying to be a ninja now? Yeah, but you can't be ninja and nobody that don't need ninja in. Mm. So yeah, moral of the story: uh, take care of your teeth. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and have good genetics, because that's half of taking care of your teeth. Unfortunately, that's that's yeah, that's also true. Yep. So you know, if you uh, if you can handle that, get good genetics. You know, I mean, obviously before you show up here, if you can help it. Just do what you can. Do what you can about the good genetics. Just have good genetics. It's fine. Just, just do it. Just, just do it. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. Just like do it already. I'm just saying that because uh, he's going in for all this stuff, and he was like, "I feel bad," and I'm like, "You realize I probably should have just as many issues as you, and if I don't, then it's gonna be like." Because I just have better enamel. It's not going to be because of you took took worse care of them or something. That's why I drink so much milk. To make all of my bones, including my mouth bones, indestructible. I try to be bony bones. Bony bones. I'm telling you, you I'm just the bone juice. <laughs> bone juice. <laughs> Giggity. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. T I tell you, I'm, I'm just made of calcium and preservatives at this point. That's it. That's all it is. Boy, it's a quiet night tonight. It sure is. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's see. I wonder what. Uh, wonder if Allie's working on. Uh, well, Ali Beth is working on school stuff. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's a quiet night tonight. I just I didn't have anything for tonight. Okay. Yeah. Our friend uh, our friend Wintermint, she uh, she made affiliate and so very very happy for her. Awesome. Uh, she's amazing. Hold on, let me. Let me. Do, 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 do. I think it's O three, isn't it? Uh, did I get it right? No, maybe not. Let me go check. I might not have. I might not have spelled it wrong. Where the hell is it? 
Oh no, no, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, her like playing doesn't say it doesn't have a game. That's weird. I've seen that happen occasionally. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know if that maybe means they did something with their most recent thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But yeah, she just made uh, she just made affiliate, so very very happy for her. Awesome. Um, let's see what else happened. Uh, Mo made me a mod in her channel. That was Tom's yeah. idea. There's all kinds it of things wrong with that. It makes sense. You're around often, and it's true. Honestly, she could use people that like aren't going to be weird about stuff. Yeah, my first official act was me and Krako getting into a uh, a emote knife fight last night in the the mod chat. So that was fun. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. I still say that I won, because at the end of it, I I I fought him with Captain Hoppers with the, with the sword and everything. So I still think that I won the I won the fight. But that then, sounds like you might win. I mean, you have a knife. It's it's, it's hard to beat a knife. I mean, it's a sword. You have like what is a sword but a but a love a really big knife. I mean, like unless you got a gun, he. And I don't, I'm gonna be honest, not sure if frogs know how to use a gun. Hmm, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Probably not. Oh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, that's about all I got. I'm just, I'm a sleepy bear today. I have to start looking for a new therapist. I haven't. I was been... wondering when you were gonna do that, but well, I also you know. didn't want to like pry. Well, I mean, you know, you can always ask, but after the wedding was a it was a good bet there. But you know, the wedding's been almost a month now, and things have finally started to settle down. Although we do have a lot going on in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're we've got stuff with Sabrina's family both this weekend and next weekend, and. You know, Sabrina's trying to get stuff ready for it, and I'm trying to help her, you know, get whatever I, do whatever I can to help. So, you know. I just point, I, I make the one argument that your mental health doesn't, uh, doesn't stop existing just because you have other stuff to do, so. No, I know, I know. And it's I know just... I'm being the pot calling the kettle black here, so... Listen, like, it's, if anything, it's your turn to find a therapist, because I found one. I just have to find another one now. I found one before you, so I guess it is my turn. Right, huh? you found it's... one, then I found one, now you have to find one. Oh. Is is this just what we're going to do? We're just going to go back and forth finding therapists until we find one that works, and then we're all just going to clamor to them? See, I... But what is that works not, for him is that might not, not work for I mean, possibly, but also, like, I think I'm uh, canceling my round of therapist and doing dentist instead. Uh, so. Hold on a second. You can't just cancel. That's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how it works. Like, that's not like saying, you know, I don't think I'll have the chicken tonight. I think tonight I will have a, uh, I think I'll have a burger. No. Yes. That's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how any of this works. I make decision all the time. When I'm See? feeling a bur listen, listen, my anemic ass. When I'm feeling a burger, he gets a burger. I oh, go get that buddy. burger because yeah. I I have had iron issues enough. <laughs> you do get the anemia, don't you? Oh. Don't you know? But I worry about you. You know that, right? Oh, I'm good. Well, I'm you good. you say that, but you're allergic to everything, and you're anemic, and and and. Did he tell you about the time what? that he got so dizzy that I had to drive out to wherever the fuck to? <sighs> Take him to urgent care? Yes, he told me about that. And they found nothing wrong other than, like, hey, your iron's low, so go eat some meat. I mean, listen, if if someone, if someone, if a medical professional tells me to go eat meat, 
Who, who the fuck am I to argue with a medical professional? I'm not a medical professional. I, found, I don't know. That's what I found out I was anemic. And I was like, hey, so, mom, apparently I'm anemic. And she was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Why? Just casually. Why? You knew you were anemic from the tattoo. Just fucking casually. Yeah, why? Why do you, why do you ask? I, <laughs> I didn't realize I was, like, that anemic. Yeah. Like, I would have been doing something about it at that point yeah okay let's see either way yes 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 okay so I have insurance through work and we are covered by Cigna I think that's who we have too really mm -hmm. y'all have y'all have Cigna too I think that's who we have Neat. but see here's the other thing is that's kind of why I'm doing dentist now and not anything else because if a transition actually starts for my job my health care very much may change and i really don't want to find a therapist to find out that they're not in the new thing yeah yeah that's... although i i guess we could technically switch to suncoast and if they're both Cigna, it's probably fine i don't remember i think we have Cigna. i mean it's Cigna. i, I say so you deal with the insurance more than i do I haven't had a problem with them. I like I like our coverages. Y'all just you know you just happen to have better coverages through your job, which you know you're you're. I was gonna say I just have better copays than you. That's really the only difference. Yeah. Like, the coverage is even reasonably similar or something like. I think that the coverages are like somewhere like something you guys cover eighty percent of. We cover eighty five percent. It's not even like you guys cover fifty and we cover like ninety. It's like small differences yeah like real small like i think one of the things i looked at was like a five dollar copay difference but i was like well i'm not changing i'm not going through the process of changing my insurance for quote unquote worse insurance there's no point in doing that yeah yeah i have to find somebody near me because i can't go like the md live thing was it was good to try and i mean it you know it it kind of worked but I need to be in person with someone. Like I connect better to people in person. And I mean, I think I think you saw that on Monday, you know, spending uh -huh. spending several hours with me in person. Also, I got to feed cheese to the very good boy. Potentially, but I connect better with people online because they're less scary. So actually, no, it's probably a wash. Because well, you were probably connecting better and I was probably like, ooh, people are scary. But I'm not people, I'm a bear. <laughs> you're your people still no i'm not don't 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 you put that evil on me ricky bobby yeah you're you're still people i'm not people let's see more options i'm i'm actually doing this right the hell now because why not might as well do it i do not want i do not want a male therapist Yeah, see, I don't necessarily need to be in person, but I probably need to have actual sessions, which is what was not happening with my last round. I was just kind of able to message her whenever, and she would message me back whenever. It wasn't like actual sessions. Mm. Like, I guess I could have set up a session, but she never really brought it up, and so I just left it alone, because I'm me, and that's what I do. I mean, so I could probably do online, but it would also have to be more than once a month. So it wouldn't be like the MD Live thing. It would probably be like someone online, but I don't know. I'm looking for a unicorn when it comes to therapists. So that's why I'm kind of just putting it off because I don't really feel like going through like a bunch of them right now. You and me both, sister. You and me both. Let's see, she's accepting because, new new patients. Because a lot of trauma informed still doesn't even fully cover CPTSD, so it's just kinda like eh. Yeah. 
What do we got here? Also do virtual. I think doing some virtual might work. Like if you could do a mix where you saw her in person, but like could have more often, that might work. I don't know. You you know you better, but I think that would be a consideration. Where if maybe like every other was in person. Yeah. Huh. This one has she'll she'll do a free fifteen minute consult. Hmm. I appreciate that. Oh that you're muted, Chris, but it's fine. I was making a bad guy code joke. <laughs> fine. <laughs> it could No, that's actually what if it what if it does save me fifteen percent or more? It, it's a good way to f see if you, like, just either do click or, like, completely don't click. Like, you might not figure anything out in those 15 minutes, but y y you could, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. I just... I'm just very over the entire mental health system right now. Yeah. And I found out one of the things I was looking into a lot of places want, um want to interview your parents so that's not happening yeah i i, I don't what? think my parents need to be involved with my stuff anyway i would Mine, like i get why because partially for what i'm looking at like part of the diagnostic criteria is that it's been continuous since childhood yeah but uh, no oh, <laughs> you're hi. not talking to my parents so my mindset just entirely shifted with that and for some reason i thought we were talking about job interviews no no and i was like um mental health diagnoses right, right. i need yeah i was about to say like i need any place that wants to talk to your parents for you to have a job to just never work there well yes i mean i won't like no like the second they ask i am no longer interested in the position like it, it's not even a question it's not even a ali i got a shiny thing she got a shiny thing she did also i'm i'm looking for a therapist i'm He's looking... being a responsible adult and looking for a therapist and no. i am playing video games and not looking for a therapist hey listen video let's games can get, be a therapy let's not let's not get ridiculous is it me or is my is 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 the camera a little washed out? You're no, you're kind of warm toned. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Uh, that kind of looks dark. Yeah. I, if, you kind of blend into your bathrobes in the back. Hmm. There you go. That's better. It's is it? I think it's the TV. Oh yeah, no, it's the TV. Oh, good gravy. Yeah, whatever. You can see me. It's close enough. Oh, bother. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ali. I'm, I, I, need a ther I need a new therapist. The, like, the virtual only just was not working for me. So I'm looking for, for one. And I have specific things that I'm looking for. He has specific things he's looking for. I would like someone who is informed in CPTSD and also aware of how autism spectrum presents in females. And that's just the fucking unicorn. So. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it right now. Um, there is. There are just in this, like in the area near me where I'm searching, which isn't terribly far from you. So you uh -huh. might have, there might be some overlap. Um, uh -huh. There are three therapists. Well, uh, 
and that's three. There are three female therapists that say that they specialize in in like autism therapy. I suppose. The question is, is it is is it an adult? And are even in autism therapy, a lot of them are still very versed in how little white boys look when they're autistic, not how the female masking and mirroring comes off. Not how so average that... <laughs> average height white girls look. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm average height. <laughs> I am average height, damn it. I'm not short. You are just tall. I know. I know. Um, but no, but it's 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 really a huge thing, like getting diagnosed or even just getting someone to like go through that and see if it's even reasonable is difficult if you don't find someone who's already done the research themselves to understand the differences because shock and awe it's almost like biology and the genders present differently and so when you do all your testing on little white boys you don't get the same results sorry I have opinions yeah, as, as well you should so that's just it, it's just like a whole thing and I'm just I'm not willing to deal with oh no 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 that's that you're it's not that and just be completely dismissed when it's like but I have been diagnosed with at least three of the comorbidities at one point yeah. and at some point I think patchwork diagnosing versus the one diagnosis where all of these things apply maybe makes more sense I mean, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. And if someone can tell me, no, this other thing actually makes more sense, fine. I'm not out to, like, I fucking haven't gone to school for it, but. Mm, okay, another one that, eh. mm, I don't know. Is it what weird? are you being picky over? Is it weird that I'm specific about both? both the the gender and age range of my therapist how specific are you on age range because i i have had bad experiences with like significantly older like you know like 70s but like otherwise i don't really worry too hard about age range i think i think like 60s and above i think is, is too old and i don't necessarily want anybody younger than me either the younger than you thing is going to get harder and harder. Like, you might have to crack on that one. Thanks. <laughs> She's calling you old, mate. <laughs> you pipe down you over were, there, youngin. You were the oldest at the uh, oldest bookend at the table, my I day, know. So. I know. I'm the I'm the oldest in that group. I know. That's okay. When, when, when Tom's here, I won't be the oldest anymore. Is that because Tom is perpetually 70? Well, that, and he's actually, like, legitimately older than me. Oh, okay. Now, if Allie Pup shows up, all bets are off, because then, then she's the oldest. Even though, she, like, that's only, like, by, by, like, legal standards. Like. Good grief. I, I would not have pegged either of you as that, as the ages you are. She's she's older, but she's she's young at heart. I was gonna say I thought Allie might have been like my age or like a year younger. No, no, she she is not. No, you do not who, look or act your age. No. Who, who among like us acts fine our age? Wine, like a fine wine. I think the only clue I had that that might be off was like the the length of time owning a home, but. Oh, she, was... see, she's entering a new decade this year. Oh, okay, so you're turning 20. That's fine. That's about right. <laughs> but yeah, so like the, the, the 60s and over, I totally get, because I've actually had similarly bad experiences, but that's <laughs> kind of a thing for me, but the... Okay, if you want to be 30, you can be 30. That's fine. I don't want to go back through my oh. 20s either. My, I... Yeah, no, no, I don't either. So that's <laughs> fair. We had a discussion about that earlier. Oh, boy. Um, 
but I, I think the younger than you might might be something to not not completely write someone off for. I mean, that's not completely writing someone off, but like, I have I have a type of person that I'm most comfortable speaking with about very specific things about myself. And that's fair. I'm just saying that, I, I guess I'm saying, like, if they're, like, one year younger than you, maybe, perhaps don't write them off. Like, if they're 22, then okay, yes, I get it. But... Well, if they're 22, they they probably don't have a master's degree, which means they're probably not... They probably don't have a practice anyway. I'm just saying, like, if they're, like, a year younger than you or something. Hmm... I don't know. Like, if I was a therapist, you wouldn't have to necessarily write me off, but I am technically younger than you. No, you're... You're <laughs> absolutely younger than me. I don't think it's just technically. I think it's like, that is an absolute given thing that you are younger than me. Like, not even, not like even by like... I could be like... I could be permanently like 65. Not even by like a month, by like, by like a, a couple of years. <laughs> by several months. By several... Several months. I almost I, I I got scared. I almost knocked over the milk stein. I'm older than you in Final Fantasy fourteen. So nah. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked, me. I really wish like these like. Oh okay. Here we go. There are filters. I just have to scroll down further. Got it. Okay, so why in this, I mean, this is just a random website that I'm filtering through, but, like, they have faith as filters, but they don't have, like, a lack thereof as a choice. Oh, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. See... When I see a therapist that, that they list that they specialize in gender identity issues, that to me, that's good. Because, like, that means, to, to me, someone who specializes in gender identity, that means that there's probably other stuff that they specialize in that would probably help me. Not gender identity, necessarily, but... But that they're open-minded and flexible enough. Yes. Yes, things. exactly that. Hmm. By the Which way, really Alipup, thing. happy Pride Month. Love your face. Pride Month, when when the when the brands descend, and they they take they take the rainbow flag from the gays to make all of the rainbow things, and then and then the gays have to take it back at the end of the month by force or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Rainbow the brands haven't told me. I had, the brands haven't told me how it works. Because like by July first, everybody's like, "What's Pride?" Thanks, brands. You're. You're a lot of fucking help. But all the rainbow all the rainbow tinted logos are out right now, so you know. That means it's it's okay to not be straight in public right now. For now. For now. Hmm. You know, it's funny, we were actually talking about, like, Pride-themed products, and that was something that Elena specifically mentioned that was actually really well done, are the, the Pride Converse. Yes, like, the Pride Converse are good. Mm -hmm. I have no issues with what I've, I've seen, seen them. of the they're Pride Converse. Nice. They're, they're freaking cool. I, I have an issue with, like, the random rainbow slapped on crap in haphazard ways. Capitalism. The, the converse are cool. 
If Ooh. I wore shoes more often, I would be interested in the converse. Ooh, is this this year's? This is this year's. This is this year's converse. I haven't seen this year's yet. Yeah, and I think I um I think something I was looking at said that this year they let you customize the logo with your flag, and that's fucking awesome. Really? I was. That's what I was seeing. That's neat. Let me see if I can get a picture of this to displays. Um, where's the thing? Thing, is that you? Okay, that's the thing. There, oh, god damn it, it's doing this again. There we go, well, that's close enough. Yep. That's... Yeah, they have several patches. They have non-binary, pansexual, lesbian, bisexual, trans, pride, and unity patches that you can customize them with. That is pretty nifty, I gotta tell ya. I was gonna say, like... I, I, this to work this time. I like... I like the Converse one. Like, I, I'm not a shill. I, like, actually genuinely like their... their stuff this year. There we go. That's... that's better. I am a shill, but you know, for certain for certain companies and products. What buy, you <laughs> buy Xbox like Game I'm... Pass? Yes, I am a shill. You're not a shill. <gasps> like 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 the space ones with like a custom patch. And can I get the rainbow laces on those? I, I gotta go look. I like the space. I really like this the rainbow space ones. I think All those right. are probably my favorite. Let's uh let's let's fucking do this thing. Where are we at? <coughs> Alright, here we go. Converse yep, you can get rainbow. Let's see. Shop all pride. Okay, okay. Custom pride if you want to play around and create your, like, affect your own. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, there's a lot of good ones in here this year. Holy mackerel. Wow. wow. I told you. Like, I'm actually really fucking impressed with theirs. Edit design. Oh my god, it's Rainbow and the Souls, too. Look at that. Uh-huh. Ooh. Let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna do Pride on the... There. <gasps> oh my god, there it is. There are the patch options. Uh huh. So they've got the norm, like the standard Converse. They've got the Rainbow Pride. They've got the Unity Patch. They've got a Trans Patch, a Bi Patch. Hey girls, hey. They got the Pan Patch, the Lesbian Patch, the NBs for those magical NBs out there. Oh my God. I don't know what it is, but there's something about NBs. Non-binary people are fucking magical. I don't know how they do it. I don't know what it is. They're just fucking magical. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't have any beans. Sorry, it's a TikTok oh. thing, but it's adorable. It, it basically sounds though. like someone drunk being trying to understand non-binary, and it, it they're just wowed by it, and it's just adorable, honestly. Okay, I gotta find the... I sent you an image of what I would make if I... Uh, Actually wore shoes enough to buy Condors. Oh, wow. Those are good. Look at that. Mm-hmm. NB stands for non-binary. Non-binary. Andrea. Yep. So they don't, they don't, they don't identify as either strictly like male or female. Those are really, really cute. 
I like those a lot. Okay, let's see. Where's the... Um... I don't see where to look for the specific... Well, let's let's look and see what we got. Let's see if it'll let me. That is neat. I like that one too. What, what are you? Hello. To... <gasps> Hello. Hi. Hi. What what are you trying to find on there? I'm just kind of looking, but what's the where? What's the one that? Click the... on Edit Design, on the right. Okay. And then uh, oh. click on one of the. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, I like that. Isn't that cool? That's really neat. Yeah. That is neat. Yeah, they 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 do a really good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you that's weren't here cute. earlier. I was I was I was ranting that like I I, I know it's stereotypical. Oh my goodness, I love that one. The speckly one? Um yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like, like that one a lot too. I I know it's stereotypical, <clears throat> but to like so poorly design fashion for pride just is like what are you doing? Yep. What what are who are you making this for? I, the, I people told Zunder, that, like, the people that want to make themselves feel better by spending money on things for pride during pride. Oh, right. No, I, I told Zunder, I'm like, at least we've come to the point where, the, and he said it best, that, that, well, at least they're pandering to us, but it's like, still like, uh, we have a bit of a way to go. Oh, oh yeah, no. It's actually like. There's so much further to go. I'm actually wearing my queer all year hoodie, so. Are you really? Yes. Yeah. I fucking love you. I love your face so fucking much. Okay. Yeah, I really like the speckle design. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. I if just I, don't if I, wear if shoes. I liked, well, if I liked white, or if I wore white shoes and, you know, could actually keep them white, I would I would think about something like that. But I, I know me. and Yeah, uh, I can't. That's why I was looking at the space ones. But I just... I have, like, two pairs of shoes, and I don't really wear them almost ever because i wear like my my work toms all the time and that's it oh, i wear flip-flops all the time yeah girl up top for flip-flops yeah oh 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 wait oh these are oh this is good i could actually order some in my size you know how hard it is to find shoes in my fucking size i swear to god what size shoe do you wear 14 I, I know I know roughly how hard it is to order shoes in your size because I mean I do too. My dad growing up had thirteen triple E's and oh, I yeah. wear an eight and a half in men's. So finding my size in women's is I've given up trying to figure out what my size in, yeah, is. Yeah, no, women's my because it's like my nine dad, and a half to eleven. My my dad wore either fourteens or fifteens, and I'm an eleven. So yes, I do I do know how hard it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm anywhere from like nine and a half to eleven, depending on the shoe. I, My just, fucking feet are really. stupid. I hate them. I, I don't hate them. I am solidly I'm solidly an eleven. There's there's no point when I wear anything less than eleven, except in Converse. It's the only shoes that I can wear a size smaller. I'm I'm a ten in in Toms, but like. I've had to go up to like 10 and a half or 11 before. It's not as often. Like, I don't think I'm solidly a, an 11. I think I'm more solidly like a 10, but it's just annoying. You know, I every time, anytime we talk about shoe sizes, I think about what Dolly Parton said in Steel Magnolias when someone asked her what size shoe she wears, and she said, Well, in a good shoe, I wear a size six, but a seven feels so good that I buy a size eight. And the other person goes, They're eight and a half, and she goes, Perfect. Our, our queen, Dolly Parton. Love her. I mean, like, how can you not? How can you not? Let's see. I, like, I really like this, I, I like this space one, Elena. Like, this is really cool looking. 
but then uh-huh. mm-hmm. but then the find really your cool. courage like just the i love the find your courage that's it's so that's good. what i'm ordering <clears throat> i've just been on a super space kick lately so the space one is just like everything i want especially like adding the patch and adding the rainbow stripe to the soles it's just and the rainbow laces like you can also make the rubber around the outside rainbow i know yeah. i saw that's what that i did on the one i sent i sent thunder the the what i would make here let me send you i posted i posted yeah. a link of the screenshot of the ones that i'm getting that i'm yes i saw you super in love with <laughs> oh yeah that's great that's what i would do if if i was gonna actually get them i just i cannot justify money on shoes that i literally won't use right now yeah those are those are nice i like those a lot yeah yeah and they're different enough from the ones that i already have that i don't feel like i'm getting a duplicate pair of shoes because the ones that i have already are purple Mm, with mm-hmm. all sorts of rainbow stuff on them, but the body is all purple, so. Gotcha. I like that a lot. Let's go back. Let's see. I mean, I just like. Where is it? Uh, like the fact that they have the patch logo in so many different styles. That's new this year. They didn't have that last year. That's I like that a lot. I'm like you. Like they have a pan patch. Like you never see that anywhere. Starting to see it more places, but yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, NBs are fucking magical. I then you've got me who wild. doesn't know what what a uh, label. Well, who doesn't fit labels well. You don't listen, have to. Yeah, listen, that's why. That's why. That's why they have so many different designs of the actual. Of the actual shoe bodies themselves, because then you can get different ones and you can mix mix and match your patches. So you know, whatever whatever feels right to you that day, you can wear. Oh, I just get the rainbow because I like rainbows, and then I don't have to pick. Well, that's also exactly. that's, also, that's, that's okay, <laughs> fair. I mean, no, I generally pick queer because queer can mean whatever you want it to. That's that's yeah, it's true. When I when people have asked me to um, define that, I'm like, there isn't one set definition for it. You can make it. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's yeah, yeah. It's more of a political term than anything else. That that you know, non-straight people took back from being a derogatory term and made it a good thing for them. Ah, the fucking straights. The fucking straights. The fucking, the fucking stra- straights. The fucking straights. Written <sighs> into everything. <clears throat> Which, I mean... You ruin everything! I still have no idea what the fuck I am, so I'm, I'm only in my 30s. I'm in my mid-30s. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Matter, oh. I keep talking to Matter about stuff, and, and he'll be like, so with this... What no, does Andrew, that make me? Fine. And I'm like, I'm like, D- does it matter? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's I get it because his names doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 also <laughs> like, thing. but also like, legitimately, does it matter what the label is? Like you you like what who what you like, and and why does it matter what the term is that defines that? Like, I mean, obviously, I, I totally understand when it matters for people. Yeah, for sure. But, like, when when you're trying to take all these, like, technicalities to be like, well, so there's this, and then there's this, but what about this? And it's like, but whatever. Like, pick what fits you best. Or don't pick and either create your now. own or just do your thing. Like, I, I get it, and I, like, I think... Other. I think people are just so used to being boxed in by the Meow. labels that it just becomes yeah. like a whole like, ooh, it's a Viv. Mm-hmm. I've said for a really long time that I don't fit in boxes well, and so I don't want to have to decide what box I fit into, because I don't. Well, I yeah. Don't fit in boxes. Well, yeah. If if you fit in boxes well, you wouldn't be an alley pup. You'd be an alley cat. 
But I'm a puppy cat, so that uh, doesn't hold. It's okay. If I fits, I, mean, I sits. If you fits, you sits. But then you can't sit still for long because you just get so excited. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then my butt starts wiggling, just mm. like Jackson's when he's hungry. Oh my god. Oh my god. He has the cutest wiggle butt. He's such cutest a good boy. He's such a good boy. Mm -hmm. so Vivian K. Smalls, how are you? I'm still browsing therapists under, and I'm I'm not gonna lie, one of them has cat photos on her profile, and that that is old. <laughs> Knows her target audience. <laughs> that is so yeah. far been enough. Oh 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 oh! Okay, panda. Okay, panda. Bork. All right, all right. It's barking time. Oh, she got jealous. You were talking about her brother, and she's like, "What about me, mom? What about me?" <laughs> This is about the time when they decide they need to bark, especially if somebody's broadcasting. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somewhere between eight and nine, one or both of the dogs has to start barking. Now, granted, it's because there's somebody who's walking by with a dog that gets my dogs all riled up. Mm -hmm, but still. Mm -hmm. But still, though. They just want to make new friends. That's all they want to do. They're just sweet babies. They're good babies. Mm-hmm. That's why they get all the treats. <laughs> They've gotten so many treats lately. Mm -hmm. It's because we love them. Yeah. Okay. I put my cookies away now. What kind of cookies? Shortbreads. Mm. From Girl Scout season. I gotta find my Girl Scout cookies. They're somewhere in a box. I think in my dining room. Or who said you were done snacking? Ooh. Um, I'm going to eat some of the pomegranate ones because I like the pomegranate ones. They're You're different. a pomegranate one. A pomegranate in your face. I thought you were talking about Girl Scout cookies and I was like, wait, what? When did that happen? I know, right? Well, when did this happen and why wasn't I notified? Yeah. How come I didn't know about this? Excuse me. I specifically asked to get copies of all of these memos, and I did not get one of these across my desk. Can't, that's that's my that's my foot. Thank you. Is she licking it or sitting on it? No, she walked on it. Well, it's real underneathy. It's hard for her to see. You know, she got that. Mm -hmm. She got that snoot. You know. Mhm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. <laughs> Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pomegranate's good. It has like a little bit of the bite like the cherry does, but not as sweet. Mm. Very well balanced. Ocean Spray knows what the fuck they're doing. I really need to get sponsored. Sure do. Hmm. You know what I haven't had in a while is Cran Apple Juice. That stuff is amazing. I love it. Hmm. Yeah, I like these shoes that you're getting there, Allie. These are nice. Thank you. Me too. To, uh, to oh. play some Fortnite with Viv and Vipa earlier. Made me happy. <gasps> you did? Yeah, we got to do the pew pews. I love, I love doing the pew pews with friends, especially the Viv and mm -hmm. the Vipa and the you. Mm hmm. I love playing with all y'all. All y'all. I'm, I'm ready for the, for the new pass. I finally got through all the, uh, 
purple quests, so I'm finally caught up on everything that I cared to finish. I was never yeah. gonna like I'm never gonna finish every blue quest because they just get it, keep getting huger and huger. It's insane. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm up to like 500k on like one of the distance ones. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. I just don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Yeah. I enjoy affecting masses too much to play Fortnite all the time. Boy, you do love them them effects of the masses, don't you? Mm-hmm. It's okay. Tom said it earlier um, in a group chat. He's like, Mass Effect 3 is a hell of a drug. Which I wouldn't know because I never took mine out of the box. I bought the I bought like the I bought the steel case of it, like the the nice special edition of it. Never played it. Liked one, I loved one, loved two even more. Never played three. But I have it. I think I own it digitally too. I think. Let me go look. I, I love that entire trilogy. It's just that whole story, just as a collection, is just a great thing. Yeah. I. The. The little differences between the games, I, I kind of just take them for what they are, but I, I can't help but just look at that entire story as as a whole thing and just love it. Oh, well, can't, it's, it's can't a... talk too much about it because obviously spoilers for people, but oh my God, I love it. But Mass Effect 3? Three, yeah, especially three, but um, all of them. I mean, Mass Effect 3 came out on the Xbox 360. Like before the Xbox sure. One was a thing eight years ago, I think we're well outside of the the, the statute of limitations for spoilers in Mass Effect Three. Ah, la, 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 la. I, no, I, no, I, uh, been, I have done a good job of avoiding spoiling her on this, and I am not doing it now. Listen, it's it's like it's like TV shows. If you're more than a season behind, then it, that's on you. You got you've had you've had ample time to play it. It's on you. <laughs> She'll run away then. <laughs> Listen, she can run away. She can run if she wants to. She can leave her she friends behind. She can leave behind. her friends behind. Because her friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. <laughs> <sighs> it's fine. I just wanted to say it's a good game, and it's taking up a lot of my time. I don't actually want to talk about it all that much. Let's see. I want to say what uh, what do I have going on tomorrow? I do have meetings. Vivian, what time are you working tomorrow? What's uh, what's your schedule like tomorrow? I gotta. I'd have to do it around work, but I mean, I don't see why not. She's just gone now. We've lost her. She's gone. Mm -hmm. She ran away. She did. She ran away. I throw something at her, lollipop. We're, uh... We... Uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, yeah, alright. Oh, okay. Two... Yeah, I think I could probably do something, hopefully, around 2.30. Because, like, all the stuff that I have to do... I have a meeting at 1.45 tomorrow. Uh, wait, what's tomorrow? Thursday? All day long. Oh, no. Tomorrow's Thursday. <sighs> Gross. What does that mean? It means I have meetings all goddamn afternoon, which, like, okay, so we have our 930 in the, that usually goes anywhere between 15 minutes to half an hour. Then we have a, a meeting at from, what is it, 10 to 11, or is it 11 to noon? Uh, I forget. One of that those two. Like... Yeah, it's one of those two. And then I have 145. I have to participate in deployment, which shouldn't take very long because I clicked all the buttons already. And then... Um, then I got a meeting at 3. So I have a window, hopefully between like 2.30 and 3, that I could play a couple of rounds. And that's about it. That's all I got. I don't yeah, know. Window, what, wall. To the window, to the wall. I want to host a game show. Uh, 
I saw there's some. Well, that's random. Oh yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to my brain. Um. I mean, same. There's a there's some there's some new game show. That's being like that. That's casting right now. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Milkstein, go back there, buddy. Um. Hey, that's that's a Sailor Moon phone background. I'm getting distracted. They were Sailor Moon. I got sure. distracted. It I happens. Listen, don't judge me. Um, who had it? Where did I see it? I think it was Buzzer Blog that I saw. <clears throat> oh shit! Tonight's Wednesday. That means Press Your Luck is on. Damn, I'm watching Press Your Luck tomorrow night too. Okay. ITV America is casting for a new quiz show. Do you know a little about a lot? Can you take a subject and run with it? Can you convince a team you've got all the answers, even if you don't? ITV is looking for outgoing, energetic contestants with a great poker face to compete in a brand new quiz show. To submit yourself for consideration, hit the button below to fill out the short application. Like I'm really, I'm really tempted to, to apply for this. From ITV Studios, the producers of Hell's Kitchen and The Chase. I, I'm I'm playing Castle Flipper. Castle Flipper? What the hell's Castle Flipper? Yep. That sounds fun. It's like it's like House Flipper, but with a castle. Do you actually get to go in and find a dilapidated old piece of shit castle and make it amazing and sell it? Uh, you, you fix up, like, you take jobs like you do in House Flipper, but right now I'm building my own castle. I love like castles. Like, custom designing it. I would, I, I want a castle. I want a big castle where a bunch of, a bunch of me and my friends could live together. That sounds delightful. Yeah. Like a commune. Let's do it. But less creepy. And, and less with somebody telling me that I should form a commune and have everybody call me Allie, Mommy Allie. Mm, you don't. Because you know that happened recently. See, type. that that's what we told her. Yeah, no, we we we've all agreed that if I was going to be anything, I would be a daddy. Or a zaddy. Or a zaddy. I can see you being like the cool aunt or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, replacement word you want to use there, but mm -hmm. that's about it. Yep. I can see that. I can like, see that. Aunt, and see, Aunt Ellie works like. That I could almost see, but if you didn't like it, I could also just, you know, go with that, go without that. Like, That's I don't too. see you as mommy anything. Mm -mm. Sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, Andrea, I we there's we... no sorry, there's no sorry about that. <laughs> Here, Andrea, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the fucking I'm gonna post a link to the show in chat. There you go. Go apply for it. Fucking fucking go for it. And I'm I'm like I'm I'm very tempted to do it. Have I ever appeared and in I TV mean, movies radio? I'm scrolling back up, but I am down for Fortnite tomorrow. I planned on dragging Lollipop into some Fortnite at some point to, to try and get him further in his battle pass tomorrow. So we only have like three more days for that or something. Oh, I have to submit a recent photo of myself for this. What? Um, I would love to see you on TV, Andrea. You shut your face with that shit. And for this uh, this game show, they want a recent photo of you. Which I mean, it's it's a game show. It's a it's a televised game show. It makes sense that they would want to see what you look like first. I need a I need a headshot. I need a professional headshot. I need, I need to find a photographer here locally that can do it, and or I guess I get. I, I should I should contact one of my friendly kink photographers to get a good picture done. That's probably a really good idea. Yep. 
Oh, Andrea, you could. There, are, there are a lot worse people who have said a lot dumber things on TV, and no one remembers them. So you'll be fine. Or they remember them for about you know five minutes till the next person mm. says something dumb. There you go. Listen, it's the age of the internet. People are saying stupid. People are one upping each other with stupid shit all the time. From the ground up. Oh no, I don't want. I don't want from the ground up. No. No one needs to see anything like below, like here. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually what's on screen. Yeah, no one needs to see anything below, like below, like my tits. That's enough, honestly. I mean, I just saw you on Monday. Tits. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, you don't live with me. You you I are memorable don't... and perfect, Andrea. That's true. I don't know. I I need a headshot. Oh, headshot. <gasps> Dom. Hi, baby. Oh. Hi, Dom. Yeah, stop taking ground up shots. Don't do ground up shots for professionals. Do head like there's a reason people do headshots. No one wants a ground up shot. Hey Chris, you have a dog. Mm -hmm. Boy, you sure He's said it. He's a very it. good dog. <gasps> and a Vifa. Hi, Vifa. 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 Ah. Uh. I know, Bowser. I hear you. I'll be with you in just a moment. Intimidating him isn't going to make me move any faster. I'm not intimidating him. Imitating him. Either way. Listen, it's almost the same word. Mm, is it? It you go. Just, just just roll with it. I need this one. He do doesn't you? need this one. I do. I do, do need you? this one. Andrea. I, do. I don't know. I Andrea, really... I cannot encourage you enough to do like a set of your own like pinup bourgeois pictures, even if just Ooh, for yes. yourself. Because you will look at them later, and you will go, fuck, I look good. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And then later, if you want to use them to flirt, then you have them. Mm-hmm. It's true. I was going to say, every friend of mine who's done them has loved them. See? I will never do them, but... Well, if it's not your style, it's not your style, but... I don't want to look at that. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not necessarily for you to look at, mostly... What if Lollipop would like a bourgeois picture of you? He has a memory. Wow. <laughs> I mean, fair point. Fair point. He <laughs> <laughs> boobies. And there, there it is. There it is. As you, as you uh, see, I don't need anything professional or uh, polished for him. So, I mean, honestly, Polished. honestly, for most for most guys, you don't need. Honestly, no. for most don't women, you that... don't. <laughs> this, this is fair. Listen, whatever. <laughs> Am I wrong? Staff member. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, she, she's out of line. But she's right. Uh, Just like when I say you're the adultiest adult. That's no, that's not correct. That's not actually correct. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is uh, actually correct. It's been voted on. I love that. I love that. I love that. The the other two of you just fucking die laughing about it. <laughs> mm, I'm just saying. Fuck both of so you. far, every time. Yeah, turds. What what about us? You're a turd. You're a turd. Ooh, I think I heard thunder. Thunder. Uh, thunder. 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 I am proud of all of you for getting that. I mean, we live in Florida. You can't not if you listen to your radio ever. Allie, Allie you can be proud of. Allie deserves the pride. I think, we'll I think you all deserve the pride. Maybe, but I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Fair point. 
Hmm. You might be hearing thunder because I feel drizzles. Um. Hey. Or I stepped outside. Hey. Drizzling just a little bit. Did you see how hey. it suddenly got dark? Uh huh. My ring I mean, light shut off. It is hurricane season. I probably need to get a battery backup to connect down there so that I have about 45 seconds before all this stuff goes out. Yes, you should. And Andrea, we have voted several times in this Discord For fuck's that sake. Uh, Zunder is the adultiest adult. And there may be a problem, but it's still the truth. Like, no, I don't know what to tell you. He is the adultiest adult of all of us. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. You, you say that, but you have yet to come up with a single one of us who you are actually less adulty than. Okay, but in like... In any way. But like, I just want to know... I just want to know, like... What did I do to hurt you? Like, why are you so mean to me? Why are you so mean to me? That's so mean. That's so hurtful. That's so raven. That's that's I mean, uh, that is that is not I, so raven. Am I really that mean? Am I any meaner to you than I am to myself? You called me adulty, and you didn't call yourself adulty. So yes. I I I. I will 100% own that I would be at least in the fighting for the adultiest adult throne if you weren't here. So, <sighs> yes, no. I, I I am no meaner to you than I am to myself. At least I don't check my work email off work hours anymore. Unlike somebody who doesn't even get paid to do it. Stop doing that. You're, you're worth more than that. Find me a job that pays me more and will let me be an analyst. Just stop and checking your work checking email. I'll continue checking my email off and work off work hours, but I'll at least get paid a salary for it. You have so many other better things that you could be doing, like playing 14, or WoW, or Fortnite, Fortnite or pick something. I mean, I do, but... See? Checking my work emails also keeps me sane. Plus, if I'm going to log in to do the report at, like... 9 30 10 i might as well check the emails while i'm there sending it's an email raining. it's raining oh i mean God, if, if you got raining. 32 hours of overtime to plug in a pc i would completely do that yeah actually i, I wouldn't because would i hate driving but i would consider it i would i would do it for for 16 hours of overtime yeah uh, dom yeah, doesn't no, get the overtime he just then no, you're no. not driving sixteen hours any anyway. No. And that's why no, that's that's exactly why he's not doing it. Honestly, it got to a point at my old IT job when I used to work for the construction company, where um, I would set everything up remotely and I would just ship them the hardware. Like I was going to job sites like every week, sometimes twice a week. And it got to a point where I was going to a job site maybe once a month only because I wanted to get out of the office. And I found a way to bill a job site for me to come out there. Especially the one that was a couple of hours south of here. Where on certain Fridays I knew that the superintendent would be doing a low country boil. And I would show up just before all of the subcontractors would get and dig in. So I was there right when it, when the pot came off the burner. That's right. I know where my no, bread's I'm buttered. Over time. My man. Is what I get on my weeks in the office. <sighs> Listen, when I was He's in a smart man. When I was in high school, I worked as an intern in my IT department in my high school's IT department. Okay. And I was sixteen. The day I turned sixteen was the day I started that internship. Worked there almost two years. And we had tickets that would come in from anywhere in the school, mostly teachers, of course. Um, but every once in a great while, we would get a trouble ticket that would come in from the cafeteria. And you know my fat ass was the first one to jump on that and run my fat ass down to the cafeteria. I took care of my lunch ladies. And my lunch ladies took care of me. And let me tell you, I ate good in high school. Alright? And for cheap. And I got sweet tea too. Which was normally reserved for the faculty, like station and sometimes the faculty would look at me and the ones that didn't know me would try to say something to me and I would flash them my badge and I would be like no no I work here 
Bye bye. They learned who I was. If they didn't, they fucking found out. Or whatever. Grr arg. Grr arg. I do be Captain Hoppers. Like this guy right here. Yar. Captain fucking Har Harpers? I was about to say yes, Harpers. Captain Harpers. fucking Harpers. You're a bird. You're a bird. You're a bird. You're a bird. Um, Andrea, there was a nonprofit that I worked at was my last job before I moved away from my hometown. And when I started there, there was a woman that worked in an apartment on the other side of the building, which wasn't a very big building, but she would bring me like treats like cookies and brownies and stuff. And she would almost always bring them to me first before she brought them to anybody else because I was the help desk person in that IT department. And one day I asked her, I said, Becky, why do you always bring me such good stuff? I'm not complaining. I'm just curious. And she said, I've learned something in all of my years of working with IT people, and that is feed your guru. Because if you feed oh, your yeah. guru, they will take care of you. And I'm like, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, ma'am. And you're goddamn right. If she ever had an issue, I would drop everything and go take care of her. Hmm. Ooh, rum and coke for free. Yeah, boy. Hell yes, Becky. Becky was awesome. It was cool, too, because I had I went to school with her son, so, like, I knew her son already, and then I worked with her, and then her husband worked in the warehouse behind the building, so, like, I knew the whole family. It was great, but I'm from a small town, and people know people anyway, and everybody knows me, apparently. I mean, I feel like you're a memorable I mean, guy. I saw an example of that on Monday. Go ahead. Tell everybody what happened on Monday, Elena. We listen to shitty jokes because you're going to buy the uh, place from someone and like oh, everyone there knew you. My joke was the best. Your joke was the only one that was even worth snickering at. So That's true. And I have a weird sense of humor, but I I tuned out on the first joke because I was just it, like, it, nope, this is going to go nowhere that I want to be part of this conversation. At least, so at least gonna... my joke wasn't transphobic. So, you know, there's that. Exactly. I, it's why I tuned out. Like. And I was like, oh, good. I hope Zach realizes he is the only one holding this conversation because I'm out. <laughs> yeah, well, in fairness, I am trying to buy the hot dog stand from him, so. I, you do you. You hold the conversations you want to hold, but I was just, I was done with it. And um, I don't I don't know that you're going to get it. You offered him 20 bucks. That's. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, but he didn't say no, did he? He didn't say no. All he said was, I'd have to write him a big check, bigger than the two dollar one that I wrote, and, and it has to, it, it can't bounce. So you know, twenty bucks is twenty bucks. I'm gonna buy that hot dog stand one day. I swear to God, I swear to God, I will do. If you buy it, if you buy it, do I get like a, like, like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, some hot dogs? Wink, wink, mm -hmm. nudge, nudge. A lifetime what, supply what is this of hot wink, dogs. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more. Uh, no, you can't. I can't do that. I I have I helped my mother manage a gift basket business, and let me tell you, I watched her give away her profits. So no, I like yep. you, I love you, but no, you will pay for your hot well, dogs just like everybody else. Well, how about if you wink, wink, nudge, nudge, charge me full price for them then? Uh, uh, what if you wink, wink, nudge, nudge? I'll consider it. What if you give him a birthday hot dog every year that I pay you for? Yeah, all right, we can make that work. <laughs> uh, friends get an up charge. Friends get an up charge every time. Every for, time for real businesses, yes. Yeah. For like hobby shit that I enjoy doing, I'm like, please stop trying to fight me. Just take the thing. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm the the but diner I that I go to, they one of them refuses to let me pay. The owner's wife, um, I'm the only one who gets anything for free in there. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm special. I'm not complaining, but I don't know what I did to get all this special treatment. There was a sushi. Thank you. Yeah. There was a sushi restaurant that was uh, downtown in my hometown, and I started going there fairly frequently, um, especially before work, because I worked on a cruise ship on a casino boat and uh, I would go there for like lunch or whatever before I would go get on the boat and then sometimes for dinner on my off nights and um, I got to know the the, sh the head chef there and um, 
every once in a while he'd uh, get something new that he wanted to try, like a new roll or something. Or like he had gotten um, some Red Snapper one time and he's like, I'm thinking of, you know, starting to sell this. Is this, you know, is this good? Do you like this? And, so, you know, I would do that kind of thing for him. Then there was the, uh, the PDQ. Because you're a giver. No, I'm an eater. Um, <laughs> I'm an eater and I'm not, and I'll tell you if you're, if your food is shit. Um, yeah. then there's the, um, the PDQ test kitchen. Um, you know, Tom, Tom and I were talking about that the other day about how, uh, Tom Lollipop and I all worked at a place that was, um, basically on the same site as the, the PDQ headquarters. Uh, so we would go to the PDQ test kitchen and, um, try new stuff. And then the, like the, the, both of the executive chefs, both the operating chefs there, uh, during my time there, would come to me about shit. So, ask me my my food, my culinary opinion. Why is it always you know, food? Talking, God damn it! Talking talking to to the non skinny people about food is is smart. Listen, I don't trust a skinny chef. Right. That's just how it is, you know. It's nothing against a skinny chef, but, you know, I want somebody that I know will eat it. Mm. Mm. I actually fried up my lunch today and it was good. Oh my God, that looks so good. You, sh you really ought to po post that in food porn. That was, that looked really good. Think so? Why not? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? Do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. No balls. Do it. Just do it. Do it. A oh. fucking thing of chicken, jasmine rice, bacon bits, and eggs. Okay, Andrea, your sister is different, though. Your sister is not necessarily human. She's like somewhere beyond somewhere she's like the next evolution or something she's she she defies like laws of physics and shit that d just I was make gonna no say, sense there are there are once in a while there are always skinny exceptions. people that are just not skinny at heart if that makes any sense oh yeah yeah no like but, you, they they have inner fat kids there are exceptions to every rule but is she? I love Dana. Listen, like she's she she has she's. I've 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 eaten with her before. I know I know she can eat. Oh God, I miss Beth's Cafe. I'm so sad that that closed. So there's this little like greasy spoon diner place that was in Seattle called Beth's Cafe, and it was so good. And I went there on my first trip to Seattle um, when I uh, I went to go visit Andrea, like the first time. And then um, we went, and it was like me and Andrea and Dana and who else? I guess Jason went with us. Anyway, they had this omelet, okay? And they bring mm -hmm. this omelet out. They don't bring it out on a plate. They bring it out on a fucking pizza pan. Okay? Nice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jason was there. Anyway, they bring out this omelet on a pizza, pizza pan, okay? Over a bed of hash browns. Like, it was incredible. I ate like three quarters of the thing because it's a 12 egg omelet. Oh my God. It's re goddamn ridiculous. That's why they had to bring it out on a pizza pan. But boy, was it good. Oh, I got somewhere. I got a picture of me and Pooh Bear there. He's up on the shelf. I still got him. Ah. Uh, yeah, the place was good. I'm sad it closed. It was really, really good. Hmm. I mean, 12 eggs would kill most people, but like... Oh. 
so good. But who are most people anyway? Well, yeah, I got this <laughs> miserable player little secret. Let me see if I got. Let's see what. Let's go. Speaking of Among Us, how 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 are really interested are you in doing that, or did you just pick it up because it was free? I picked it up because it was free, but I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it at some point. I'm down. I'm the game. Uh, doing stuff. Um, where's that? That was twenty twenty two. Can I not sort this by like? What we got here? Where the hell's that Seattle trip? There it is. There it is. Okay, there it is. Seattle? Seattle trip. I'll, I'll Seattle, Seattle trip. trip your face. Damn. Ooh. You gave me the the one two punch there. Okay. Yeah. So. Does this work? Yes. Okay. So here is this is best cafe. This is the sign for it. Okay. There's Pooh Bear. I took a lot of Pooh Bear pictures this trip. Okay. I mean, it's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. How can you not? Know? Right. Okay. Chickens wanted must lay 12 eggs per day. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's Dana's hair on the the left there. Uh And there it is. The omelets with both half and whole dozen eggs, okay? All right. Home of the 12 egg omelet. Let's see. There's a, all kinds of art all over the walls. <laughs> Tom shows up when you start talking oh. about omelets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, Tom's here. Tom, you're here just in time for the to see the giant omelet with the hash browns. I saw okay. Tom hanging out in Moe's stream. He do do that. And there it is, folks. 12 egg doo -doo. omelet on a bed of hash browns said doo -doo. with toast on top. You didn't have to get the minimum of six eggs. That was just like their big ones. It's true. Tom does a good heck and protect to the to the the best friend Mo. I mean, who doesn't want to heck and protect the Mo because the Mo is the the awesome. It's true she is. But yeah. I didn't I didn't mean that in a negative way. Just the, saying. There's me and my milk and my thumb. Oh, I missed that watch. A big ass yeah, you absolutely would. I and I we did. We we thought that I would eat the whole thing, but we were wrong. We were wrong. I did. This was the meat lovers one, though. But like, I mean, like I said, I ate about a good three quarter of it. Like it wasn't bad, but like there was a lot. It was a lot. I suppose that might be acceptable. It was maybe. It was, I don't know. It was delicious. <sighs> I mean, listen, it was, I knew I had to walk later too, so, you know, I wasn't trying to, like, kill myself over it, but man. It wasn't eat or bust. You wanted yeah. to be able to walk, not waddle. Yeah, and then there was, like, other shit that we went and saw. See, ooh, this was the, this is the donut shop. Mmm, donuts. Top pot. So good. Ooh, Croatia. Tom, what uh, Tom, what country was it that Senior was watching all the fucking like live streams of the 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 guys making pizza? I forget. That's the public library downtown. That is no longer Safe Cofield. Just taking random pictures. A little tiny diecast DeLorean. Anyway, that was that was the that was the the giant omelet. I got a bunch of pictures of the Microsoft campus from that trip, too, because that was my first time to the mothership. Czech Republic. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That sounds... That sounds right. Yep. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, where's... I gotta find... I gotta find a picture. I think there's a picture of me and Andrea in this mix somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there's the falls. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. There's the guy plating the accordion on the street. 
Uh, I don't know that I have a picture of me and Andrea, but I do. I do have. I do have this really adorable picture of her. Look at friend Andrea with her hug time book. Look how stinking cute she is. Aww. Isn't she? Aww. Isn't she adorbs? And this is why she needs to be on TV. I know, right? See, like, like her face is just made to be shown on TV. Oh yeah, yep. Ooh, FIFA sent me the pizza picture. Pizza? What? Good. Where? That is that is a pretty big pizza. But they make better. They or they make bigger here in town, Vifa. They make bigger ones right here in Tampa. Huge ones like. Uh, Vifa, I want to see, please. Okay, ridiculous. Thanks. That is a big pizza, though. <laughs> it's not gross, Andrew. You watch your mouth. Then we went to Beecher's Cheese Shop down at the uh, down at Pike Place Market. I I believe Zender could do a stream on meatballs. I I honestly believe that is a possibility. Like honestly, like I probably could, <laughs> Emery. I probably could. Like I'm, yeah. Yeah, and thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. I I probably like I I'm I've thought about doing like a kitchen stream one day. And just doing. I was gonna say live stream. stream the prep for um. Sub goal like we Nomster get enough subs jam. we do a we do a live stream. Nomster jam. Nomster jam. That's not even. Nomster jam prep streams. Actually, exclamation point Nomster jam. We'll do it. Nomster jam. Look, I did it. It's, it's like a ventriloquist act. <laughs> That's impressive. Thanks. You're impressive. I'll impress you. <sighs> Don't threaten me at a good time. Oh, oh, I'm going to make... It's me, Stan. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Andrea's going to be happy about this. Andrea, look, it's, it's the Mustang. Yeah... Andrea loved this car. Ooh, that's pretty. It is pretty. Let me tell you though, as a as a tall and large boy, nah, not a lot of room for me. People were smaller in the '60s. It turns out. Weird. I know, right? Yeah, there she is. That Mustang was so good. It was a. It was a really good car. It was a really good. It was a really good ride to to be in. But no, it is not roomy. Let's see. There's when we went to the restaurant at the top of the Space Needle. Which was good. But the Space Needle is like my mortal enemy. Because it's real high up, you see. <sighs> Do you not like heights, even though you're tall? No, I do not like heights. That's fair. Because I understand I how... I don't mind heights. I'm scared of falling. Mm, that's fair. This sounds strange, but it makes sense. You make sense. Sounds pretty normal to me, honestly. I don't think I make sense. Because, like, I understand, I understand what terminal velocity is. And, uh... I, I just know that when I hit the ground doing that, bear goes everywhere. Yeah, but at least, you know, you wouldn't be around to, to feel it. Allegedly. My fear has always been that, like, I would fall in, like, the precise way that bear I'd live. But, like, ouchies. Ouchies. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Oh, no. Uh, splat. <laughs> oh, I miss Mana. Oh, splat. Oh, I miss Mana a bunch. I also like being a bear that is in one piece. See, like, Vifa. I also I'd... like you being a bear that is in one piece. Thanks. 
Like, Viva, I, I couldn't, uh, like, the eye. I can't, I'm, like, Sabrina keeps telling me that when we come over there, she's going to make me get in the eye. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. That thing could come apart at any second. And then I'm just in, like, a steel and glass box of death that either is going to fall into the ground and, and like, kill me, or it's going to fall on the Thames and I'm just going to fucking drown. That's what's going to happen. I ain't, I ain't, is that what's going to happen? I ain't going to ride in that fucking eye. Oh. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck a whole lot of that. Fuck yeah. everything about that? Fuck everything about that. Sabrina's like, you're going to do it. I'm like, hmm, no, you can. Or you can, you can, you can stand here and watch me not. <sighs> Man, I miss Seattle. I can understand that, Vifa. I can I can feel you on that. Yeah. Getting on, off and on moving things. Just... Mm, mm, mm. Uh, it's not irrational, Vifa. Yeah, no. No, not it's at all. It's a very rational fear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those of us who don't have that fear are the ones that have issues. Ugh, I know. I really want to go back to Seattle. I miss it. Perhaps next year? That's what I'm hoping. Ooh, there was a... There was an ocarina salesperson at the, uh... At the, uh... Five Place Market. Look, there's even a... There's even, like, a, a Zelda songbook that came with it. Or that you could buy with it. Hello, fluffy boy. <gasps> Is it the good the boy that loves boy? cheese? God, I yes, love it him. is the best boy. He loves cheese. Oh, he's my new friend. He liked you. I liked him a he bunch. Was your, he was your friend before you met him. I mean, I'm okay. I'm gonna come up there. I'm gonna come up there, Andrea. I'm coming up there. Okay. I just don't know when yet. Zunder got to pet him oh and feed him cheese. I got to pet him Stop. and feed him cheese. Oh, he's Stop. so fluffy. He's the softest cat I've ever pet in my entire life. Literally so the jealous. softest cat. Just the softest Come to Florida, boy. Ellie. You can come pet him, too. I, Pretty I much will... anyone who feeds him cheese is allowed to pet him as far as he's concerned. Bean says I have to do yeah. Bean says I have to do London, but I want to do so, some other stuff too. I want to go out in the countryside. I don't want to spend spend a whole lot of time in London. There's not a lot in London that just I want to see. Are you are you gonna move to the country? Are you gonna eat a lot of peaches? Oh my God, no! You know, peaches come from a can. They were put there. They were put there by a man in, in a factory do downtown. <laughs> if, if I if I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Ooh! Oh my God. <laughs> Not you too, Allie. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Wow! Uh. <sighs> yeah. Blah. Blah. Listen, that's not my problem. It is my problem. I mean, I have I'm... to listen to it. I'm from Georgia, so millions of peaches, peaches for me, <laughs> millions of peaches, about that. peaches yes. for free. <laughs> uh, uh, I listen. I'm from Georgia. I have to. I I I like songs about peaches. It's it's genetic. It's not my fault. It ain't your fault. It's not my fault. Uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta go to Seattle. We gotta make like a whole trip of it. I mean, like, um, I need to go back. Sabrina needs to go with me. Tom needs to go. Period. Um, which means Allie Beth will go. 
Because, you know, I... Sabrina, Sabrina. I got to visit my stepsister who lives there. Well, th- there you go. So we get both yeah. alleys. Yeah, um, I have no reason to go out there. I've never been though. Uh, apricots are not a superior peach. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Get out. I know where you live. Superior peaches. Superior peaches. Peaches for you. They're not even the same. Now. Maybe maybe if you want to talk about nectarines, but still, even nectarines, peaches peaches are better. I don't know. I like the fuzzy. I don't know. I like it. Of course you do. You're a bear. Listen. I like Viv- the fuzzy, not the fuzzy wuzzy. But was he? Yes. And still <laughs> continues to be, as it turns out. Nectarine, nectarines are good. Nectarines are good. Um but I like the fuzzy of the peaches better than I do the nectarines. Sabrina doesn't like the fuzzy, so she likes the nectarines better. I mean, she she peels them anyway, and I think, like, because the nectarines are, you know, I think she likes the flavor of the nectarine a little bit better than the peach. But, yeah. Mm. Ah. That's true. That's true. I am. Isn't isn't hidden in Washington? She is. She is. She is near that so we, area. So we have to. We gotta go visit Hidden. Obviously. So we have to visit Hidden. She's like. She's That's like true. your your bestie. We have to go visit her. So. We, and then you can have like eat detection in person. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. See, I know how eat detection works. Oh my gosh, the eat detection. That's because we have to learn eat detection with you. Uh, rude. Rude. <laughs> well, I'm out of line, but I'm right. Rude. That's what I thought. Do I need to send you the gif you sent me like two days ago? God damn it. Oh, Tom. Was I wrong? Elena. What? Will you tell, will you tell Lollipop that I just lost the game? Hey, hey, Chris. Chris, Zach just lost the game. Damn it. Zach. Yeah. I just lost the game. Yeah, you sure did, bud. You sure did. Oh, I want to come to Boston, too. Absolutely. I I got to come to Boston to get some chowder. All right, I'm done. I, I promise. That's, that's the only one I'll do tonight. Mm-hmm. You are all right. All right, I'm done. I swear. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm done. I'm fucking done. What are you gonna pack the car and have it yet? <laughs> I go to the bar and have a beer. You're not done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're, you're not. not sorry. You're not sorry at all. <laughs> Don't pretend to be sorry when you're not. Don't you lie to me like that. <laughs> I love you, Vivian. <laughs> I love you so much. I love how you're like crying. You're laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, I am terrible. I am a terrible person, but I'm okay no, as a not. bear. Uh, Bears don't have Boston accents. Panda bear, what are you, you doing? You know that. And- you don't know that. You, Bears have you, don't speak English. All, again, I, first of all, I do all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to convince me it's chocolate. Thing. Fuck you, Vin. God. <laughs> Say, would you like a chocolate-covered pretzel? <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> I don't know where that pretzel's been. Oh, oh, you don't want to know where that pretzel's been, I assure you. Uh-uh. Oh, man. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's good. Um. So, I honestly would not. I I would not be mad at all about like loading up like a bus and just riding us all around <laughs> everywhere. Like, just let's go. Let's that would go. Be awesome. Like, I'll start down here. We'll pick up like lollipop, Elena, and Zundefron. And we'll have plenty of snacks, and then we'll just we'll just go. 
and then we'll pick up Tom and Allie Beth. We'll come up north. We'll then we'll swing through DC and we'll pick up Allie Pup. Then we'll go up, keep going up to Boston, pick up Viv. We'll have Vifa fly in and we can pick her up too. And then we can start heading west. And then we'll get to we'll get to Seattle. We'll pick up Hidden. We'll just hang out, have a great time. Andrea will come and just like, you know, like bonk me on the head for for taking so long to come and see her. Um, Panda wants to come too. She's she's up on my lap trying to make sure I pass that along. Oh, well, I mean, obviously. Like I thought I I kind of thought that like you obviously. You, obviously. I thought that you I mean, the Panda good boy Jackson who needs were kind of a to come along. Well, who's going to feed him cheese if y'all aren't home? I said, "Right, he has to come along." Right, that's what I mean. Liara stays home because she'll just hate life. She'll be but... fine. No, she'll be fine. We'll listen, we'll we'll, we'll leave her food and water and, and like 20 bucks for a pizza. She'll be fine. Um yeah, Exactly. Um, okay, like, I don't know that I want to find Wayne, like, I, so, so Wayne is Andrea's old bus, um, and I don't know that I want to find Wayne, I don't, maybe a different bus than Wayne, Slow thrill through Cincinnati and flip Ken the bird. Oh yeah, no, we could absolutely do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. I feel like that was a given. Oh, like, make I, sure that he knows that we're there and that we're driving by, but we don't actually stop and see him. I mean, if you want me to bring you Wayne, I'll. I can. I will find and bring you Wayne if you really want me to do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, we 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 gotta roll by and flip Ken the bird. Like, call him up and be like, hey, Ken, what are you up to? Come outside for a second. Come outside. And then just like flip him off, flip him off and like meh, meh, hit the horn a few times and then just slowly pull away because it's a bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we do exactly. That. And we can, but we can wave to Moon. We, we wave to Moon. Your... We flip off. Oh, Ken. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll Perfect. be your very own uh, Fortnite battle bus. Oh, my God. We could Ooh. paint it like the battle bus. Ooh. Ooh I wonder if it flies. I mean, Ooh. if we if we strap a hot air balloon to it, probably. I don't think I trust that. I mean, we'll do extensive testing, or not. Okay. All right. You know. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Panda, I hear your tail. What? But she's such a good girl. Are you such a good girl? She's such a sweet baby. Hi. Oh, hello. Thank you. Ow. It's cool. I didn't need to eat this jelly bean that I had right by my mouth when you knocked my hand away. She's just trying to help you out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a helper. Somebody made, like, a big inflatable one. Like a life-size inflatable one. For the battle bus. <laughs> Poor Viva. <laughs> <gasps> best friend Mo. Hi, best friend Mo. Mo! How was the rest of your stream? I was lurking earlier. How was the mountain coming along? Yeah, Vifa, you can, you can. Yeah, we'll put you, we'll, we'll put you like a little trailer behind. It'd be great. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. We, we can have, we can have it a double decker bus with the upstairs open, so she can go sit up there when she needs to. Like one of those tour buses. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, Vifa, are you okay with that? Or would you be okay being on top with like, as long as there was like sufficient railing and whatnot, you know? <laughs> you want to be on top, Vifa? Railing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, okay, so she doesn't want to be on. No, you took it for granted. Uh, she doesn't want to be in the death box. Okay, so then then you want to be okay, in the trailer right, behind right. the death box? Do you want like a little bubble like the Pope Mobile, but just the bubble? Like, would that would that be okay with you? We can make it out of like plexiglass or something. I mean that—that that seems that seems pretty reasonable. You know. Yeah, that mountain is big, Mo. That's that's a big mountain. It's it's the V Lorge. Good gravy. I'm excited to see how that mountain comes along. V -Lorge. It looks awesome. We'll just bubble. We'll bubble wrap Vifa and just put her inside like the Pope Mobile bus bubble. Is that what we'll I'm do? I'm still, I'm still working on convincing Zunder to. 
to make a Zunder team to go explore the mountain. Oh my build God. The mountain. Uh, I'm down. When okay, Mo, when when is that event? When is that event? Because I need to. If if. Uh, let's see. Okay, late August or early September. All right, I might be able to do that. Um, let me grab my doo doo. Have they started migrating it? Oh, they still haven't like started doing the the migration, the great account migration yet. Ugh. Hey, hey, Robert, did your game freeze or did mine? Tom, if I I feel like you're you're mistaking me for an amateur. Oh, Viv, 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 ask Tom about his house. Ask Tom about about his house. Go ahead, just ask him. Go ahead. This is this is great. So, you know, Tom bought a house not not terribly long ago. Um now and uh one of the the, the selling points of the house um was this area upstairs where Tom's got all of his stuff set up and it's like his 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 like sort of lounging area, gaming area. Um for for stuff and things. Um and he has this balcony, this upstairs hallway that he can use like a balcony to heckle people in the living room on the first floor. And it's just and I mean, honestly, that's what sold him on the house. And eventually, once I get up there to see the house, you know, now that I'm, you know, all got my pokey pokes and whatnot, um, Tom and I are going to be up in the balcony heckling Allie Beth and, and Bean. As um, we do. You lost the rest of your people, just FYI. I think their internet might have dropped off. Oh, power flicker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we lost Lollipop and Elena to the power flicker. Because I was watching Zondefron in, uh, in in Fortnite, and all of a sudden, he was his feet were moving, but he wasn't. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, is that, is that me, or is that him? That'll happen. I love you, Andrea. Go go home. I love you. Be safe. Bye. Um. The whole power oh. went out. It all went out. Oh, hi. So, how's it going? Well, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like a stupid power with its flickerings. Oh, and now and now Discord is busted. Of course it is. Cause I had to completely close my Discord. And... <laughs> stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. <sighs> All right, so we've got I need to get a new um um I need to get a new router at some point or I might just back up and reset mine and then set it back up again. Uh, which would be like a that would be like a Saturday thing. Because that's going to take at least like 20 minutes to make sure that everything is, is the way I want it to be. Um, but mine's been mine's been a little flaky lately. I think it's... I'm like, I am like I upgrade the firmware on it like every other fucking week. Which is good that firmware's coming out for it. But I've had this thing for, I don't know, like six years or some shit. And it's just... Uh... Yeah, ours is doing well. This, I mean... A couple of our computers stayed up, but the router and Zundeferens went down. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it might just be like different power strips that we have ours on. Um, but so I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Ours is actually acting pretty good. Well, I, I have a battery backup like... that that I have my stuff plus the router and the modem plugged into because it's in my room. 
and because oh, yeah. both Snuggie and I work on the computer even before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. None of us worked from home before, and I have to come around to battery backups because I have worked in too many places that, like companies that have battery backups that don't replace them when they're beeping. And so I just hear battery backup and I hear I'm going to be tortured with beeping for six months until it finally dies. Oh, hell no. And I don't, and, I don't do that. Right. Normal people don't, but I just have had this happen at like three different companies to the point that I just have like this aversion to the idea of battery backups because I have wanted to destroy more than one because FedEx was like, well, it's not, it's still working. It's, it's fine. It only beeps sometimes. <laughs> it only beeps sometimes, but it's okay. <laughs> and, like, we had one at my current job that, like, it took, like, a week of beeping for us to finally convince IT that, like, please just take it away. Oof. So, well, I just... Well, we would be the people responsible for that, which means if we want it replaced immediately, we can, uh, we can fucking do that. This is, this is fair. Yeah. I just... I, I have to I have to mentally come around to the idea that battery backups do not just mean that it will beep incessantly for months on end. But yeah, Chris is looking at Chris was looking at them and I think we just decided not to do it yet, but I think we might might actually this year. That might be part of this year's hurricane prep. Like each year we're kind of doing a little bit more. We're still nowhere near where I want to be, but eh, eh, eh. I, th I think yeah. I've got to get one for, like, all of this. So, like, if my power does flicker, that I can keep this stuff on at least for a second so I can try to survive the brownout. It's very, very handy. I know. I've, so I have not old one. Like, but... glide down the landing instead of just suddenly... Crashing. Everything's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean... Well, in our case, I would love it just for our computers because our power doesn't ever go out for long. It flickers. Mm -hmm. and, and like not great. that would just short out all of that yeah like and that would stop happening to our computers if that was a thing right yeah no that's why i'm i'm considering it because like and if our power goes out for long it's gonna go out for like it we either get very short flickers or hey it's a fucking hurricane like we don't get it's out for a half hour randomly very often if at all <gasps> hurricane stream win Maybe uh, maybe we'll get no. maybe I'll get a hurricane stream this year. No 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 no. Don't you I put that like, evil on me, Ricky Bobby? I need like three or four more years to get the house more prepared. No, not like a not like no like a like a little hurricane stream like a like a hurricane party stream. Oh, uh, so you just want the drinks? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and okay. like and okay. like you know the the lawn chair is blowing over. Cause like I want like a cat three at worst. Uh, cat two. Fine, cat two. Cause like I want to replace our windows and get shutters, and I want to like regrade our front lawn so it slopes. But this is all money that doesn't exist yet. Ah. Uh. Oh, there yes. are a lot of things I want to do, but you know. Yeah, see, that's what Tom. That's the Tom's exactly right. That's how it works here. Like we're gonna get this giant storm, and then like, boom, and then the 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 lawn chairs blow over, and then that's it. That's the whole thing. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, but that's not a cat that's all three. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Not a cat three. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I've cat been two in, or under. I've been in cat three. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I, you're fine, sure, but I'm I'm worried about my house. I'm not not really worried about you blowing over. I think if I don't blow over, I think the house will be fine. He does make a valid <laughs> argument there. He, actually, no, he has less little bits than the house. So you're not worried about the house so much as you're worried about the little bits attached to the house. Correct. You know the foundation. Oh, you're still disconnected. You know the foundation's like concreted into the fucking ground, right? You know that's like that's. The roof is not. The roof's nailed down. I'm not nailed down. 
<laughs> don't, <laughs> don't smart enough to walk inside. Don't worry about don't worry about my little bits, Mo. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you, you had to be there. It's fine. Uh, ooh woo. Ooh woo. <laughs> and and such. Oh. Yep. 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 So, um, <laughs> uh, that will be 350. Viv, thank you. Thank you. Um, 350? About 350. About 350. I told that woman not to give that <laughs> lock that monster no 350. <laughs> it was about that time. Um, so, let's see. Friday, we're doing the fork knifing. Um, Yay! Yeah, we're going to do yes. the. The, sh shoot, shoot, the shooty shoot. shoots and the pew pews, pew pews and the and the and the bam bams and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else we got going on? Sunday we're gonna do dungeons. Um, let's see. Tom, you Tom will be back for dungeons on Sunday. A farewell to this season stream. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the last fork knife of the season. Mm -hmm. We get new season starting next week. Ooh. Okay, we gotta yeah. Maybe we can maybe I can get like a party hat or something. I don't know. I got like I got what do I got? Do I got party hats? No, but I got a giant I got a giant green sequin bow tie. Oh, but you live near me who will like find a way to make a party hat appear if given the opportunity. I mean I can I can find party hats. Maybe I'll wear a robe. Maybe I'll turn the air down and wear a robe. Yes. So, yeah. Oh yeah, Mo's got party hats, that's true. <laughs> the last game of the season can't hold anything back now. <laughs> it's because he didn't hold anything back. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, hey, by the way, um, the bar. Don't forget, tell everybody to come follow because I want to give away another game pass, please. Oh my god. I'm hey, doing- Hey Zach. Yeah. The streamer I know wants followers. Uh, oh my god, me too. We, you should follow him. Yeah, he's a bear. I think you'd barely like him. You, you'd probably get That's along it. with him. That's it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um. Anyway. Uh, tell your other friends that don't already follow the channel or are the streamer to follow the channel so that I can give away another three-month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription. So Look, many you're games. Not specific. So many fucking games. And you keep telling me to tell Lollipop when you lose the game, which you just lost. God so I'm telling you to follow your stream. You listen. You know what the fuck I mean. You know if exactly. You're gonna the tell, if you're gonna make me telephone every time you lose the game that you just lost, <laughs> then I'm Thanks, gonna babe. telephone your own stream to yourself. You're. You know what? Whatever. Um. <laughs> I love all your faces. Even you Elena's. Mind? Yay! Even Elena's. It's not your face that's the problem. God. What is the problem? The things that leave your face. <laughs> Fuck you, Tom, you fucking potato. You potato ass motherfucker. God damn it. Ah. Oh, I fucking hate y'all. Uh, oh my god, I should totally follow that guy. Yeah, you should. Okay. You should join his Discord too. He has food porn. Oh my god, I, 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 Do I, like food I, porn. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> On a scale what of one to you? even, I literally can't. Fuck it, we're gonna go raid Snuggy. Hey, I know him. You, I, I should hope so. He pays you rent money. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're gonna go. Oh no. Robert go. just got murdered. Welp. <laughs> Rip in pieces. Um. There's the, the raid message. Use it if you want to. You ain't gotta. You know the drill. Um, Not your pappy. That's, Not yeah. your mama. That's it. Not the mama. Gotta love Not me. Not the mama. Um, anyway. Uh, let's go uh, Let's go see Friend Snuggie. I love your faces. We'll see y'all Friday night when we're playing the fork knife. Last game of the season. Can't hold anything back now. Until then, I love you. Bye.